Hello everybody, I am Francis with JustFrancis.com and I'm here today to participate in something called a dialect vlog. The basic idea is I'm going to read off a short list of words and then answer a short list of questions so that somebody studying linguistics can map out the dialect and accent changes throughout North America. So I'll start by explaining where my kind of muddled dialect is from. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, specifically Central Washington, a kind of rural farming hunting community. However, when I was a child, I had uh, quite a bit of speech therapy because apparently I couldn't speak very well at all. And then as an adult, I moved to Scotland where I lived for a while. I then married an Englishman who'd lived in Scotland for 20 plus years. And I now watch EastEnders and Doctor Who on a regular basis. And I also communicate by phone and Skype with my in-laws and my family, family and friends back in the UK on a regular basis. And so my accent isn't necessarily a pure Pacific Northwestern or small town rural hick accent. So uh, without any further ado, I will start into the list of words. So here we go. Aunt, root, wash, oil, theater, iron, Salmon, caramel, fire, water, sure, data, ruin, crayon, toilet, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, and cot. So on to the questions. The first step is what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? First of all, it's called wrong. It's totally not a nice thing to do. But where I'm from, we would call it TPing. Um, at one point when I was in school, some kids TPed Mr. Bay's house. He was our science teacher and gosh, kids were so mean to him. They got caught and Mr. Bay made them completely clean the entire house. And then I think that they had to do some extra astronomy homework or something as well so it was kind of funny. I've never TP'd a house but in in hopes of full disclosure here I have actually wrapped cars completely and totally with saran wrap and you know maybe put a little bit of Vaseline on the windshield wipers and that. Also wrong so don't do that children if you're listening. Um, what is the bug that when you touch it it curls up into a ball? I would call it a roly-poly, but I've also heard it called a potato bug. And it's kind of weird that as kids we used to see these little things crawling across the sidewalk and we just totally love to go and poke it and watch it roll up into a ball. I mean, is that cruel and unusual? I mean, we didn't burn ants with a magnifying glass, so I guess poking a bug isn't too bad, maybe. I don't know. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? I would call it soda. Um, I don't really drink much soda, um, but actually I guess that I would just specifically ask for something by name. I'd ask for a 7-Up or I'd ask for a root beer, um, but soda. Anyhow, moving on. What do you call gym shoes? I think I would mostly call them sneakers, maybe running shoes, but I also call them trainers quite often now because of that UK influence. So, um, What do you say to address a group of people? Well, to be honest, I'm not really a public speaker, and so I don't sort of get up and address groups of people. If I were going to, I'd probably say, hello, everybody, or something along those lines. However, if I am in a crowded room and I'm trying to get the attention of a group of people, um, I've noticed recently, again, the UK influence, that I'll just shout, oi, you! And um, that seems to help, I think, especially in America, where people aren't expecting somebody to shout, oi. So, um, moving on again. What do you call the kind of spider that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? I would call that a daddy long legs. And this kind of makes me giggle because just yesterday, a UK Facebook friend posted that her daughter was asking what the plural of daddy long legs would be and several of us adults with nothing better to do went back and forth over just what that would be. I kind of thought that maybe daddy's long legs would be good but somebody suggested that it might be 
daddy long legs and that I kind of liked so daddy long legs or daddy long legs is um, what do you call your grandparents just grandma and grandpa nothing fancy um, because my paternal grandparents had passed away before I was around I, I didn't even have the grandma cook grandma Eberly kind of thing going on it was just grandma and grandpa what do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A shopping cart. Um, not a cart. I'm actually very much shopping cart all altogether. Um, but again, when I'm in the UK, I would call it a trolley because, well, that's what they call it in the UK. So, um, what do you call it when rain falls whilst the sun is shining? I don't actually have a term for that, and I've never heard anybody that has a term for it but when I was first living in Scotland my flatmate was from Tanzania and she actually said that when the rain falls when the Sun is shining it means that a lion is giving birth and I kind of thought that was cool she didn't have a terminology you know a, a name for that instance but it was kind of neat that a lion's giving birth sort of like when a bell rings an angel gets its wings so last question is what is the thing you change the TV channel with? I guess that I would call it a remote control. Again, much like shopping cart, I would actually use both words, so a remote control. Unless I was being funny, I might call it the clicky thingamajigger, um, but mostly a remote control. So that's it. That is the list. And um, again, my accent stroke dialect, whatever, is a little bit muddled versus most people from um, the Pacific Northwest. But I'd really be interested in checking out what your differences are so if any of my family and friends from around the world want to participate or complete strangers I think it would be great and I would just ask that you um, maybe share a link to your own personal dialect vlog so um, thanks for checking in it's been quite a while since I've popped in and said hello to my loyal fans on YouTube so it's um, great to see everybody I hope everybody's having an awesome new year and we'll speak to you soon bye